Zscaler uh, yeah. announced. Well, actually, I think you said, yeah, Zscaler delivered the f industry's first zero trust SASE. Maybe explain, Will, what yeah. SASE is first and what Zscaler does for the audience. You bet. Before I do that, though, Matt, thanks for the, the shout out about Ernest Hemingway. I am in the Florida Keys at my home over the next week or so. And my wife does like the beard, so I, I will be shaving it when I get back on the road. But is there something special shaving. there? Something yeah. special there. I got married there. Um, I know you did. Kind of weird, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm doing my best to channel Ernest. You know, because you know we all write for a living, but without all the alcohol, I am doing a dry January, so it's going to be hard to stay out of the bars and you know and not have a cocktail. But but let me jump into it. So Zero announced this week. Um, their their uh, their Zero Trust Sassy solution. Pat, you asked about what Sassy is. I mean, basically, when you think of Sassy, think of merging security functionality into an SD-WAN platform. And, you know, SD-WAN is a very crowded market. Last time I checked, over 100 players. Uh, most of them are moving forward with, you know, the Secure Access Service Edge or, or SASE, which merges the security. A lot of that emphasis is on just the Secure Service Edge capabilities and functionality. So what Zscaler is doing is they're taking their, their tried and true hard tested zero trust exchange, which operates through um, the Zscaler security cloud, which they claim to be the largest security cloud on the planet. And they're del delivering zero trust functionality with that. I'm gonna talk about Equinix as well, because last year Zscaler entered into a relationship with Equinix, leveraging their hardware for some edge device capabilities. They're now leveraging that relationship uh, basically, uh, Equinix is providing the hardware, and so Zscaler can deliver not only sort of a standard SD-WAN solution, but also this zero-trust SASE solution as well. And I'll also add, not surprisingly, um, there is an adaptive AI engine that Zscaler has introduced as well, which is intended to assess risk and incorporate telemetry to uh, further mitigate risks and threats and that sort of thing. So it is an industry first. Um, but um, I believe there are other companies out there that will claim that they're doing, you know, some zero trust, you know, deployments within their, within their SASE solutions. But I, I do think this is going to um, provide, you know, um, an emphasis with a lot of Zscaler's competitors to focus a little bit more deeply on, on zero trust and SD-WAN and SASE. Hey, Will, who would you expect to be the next uh, person in on this? Oh, I think, you know, Cisco, absolutely Cisco, uh, as well as uh, as HPE with the Aruba Networking Division as well, and Juniper and Juniper Networks as well. So, I mean, all the, the you know, the big networking infrastructure providers that you would think about. 